We're going to call one. Uh, Kleokop did mention that they will have uh, some sort of announcement, perhaps by the end of the week, when it comes to anything with their conference uh, elsewhere outside of the scheduling. Armstrong, I just sent you a, a link to Max Olson's tweet about the Big 12 talking to the ACC commissioner, Jim Phillips, if you have well, time to pop that up. One big thing is apparently, yeah, the Pac-12 is going to have a decision on expansion by the end of the week. Uh, that was the latest that I just saw here in the last 30 minutes, and I'll need to track that tweet down. But, yeah, apparently uh, somewhere in this press conference and all these quotes, uh, there was talk about an expansion decision coming soon. I saw a lot of Pac-12 people that said – you know, they're expecting nothing. I saw some say they're expecting Texas Tech and Oklahoma State. And we know what Dave Wanstead said today. I mean, he set the whole dadgum day yeah, off we're with ready a to hear from him. giant yeah. bomb. But, um, yeah, it's uh, it's very interesting. And I think people are still sort of kind of trying to figure all of this out. Yeah, from, I, from, yeah. Uh, from Sooner JJ, the alliance is like a group of jilted guys who have made a pact to swear off women – which lasts until the first pretty girl walks by. Yeah, and uh, I saw somebody else say that it was just, it basically felt like a reactionary move, which of course it was. I mean, they weren't going to have this alliance if there was no Texas-Oklahoma change. So this was absolutely a response, but it's not the response that I think it was maybe made out to be mm -hmm. early on. All right, here's, here's the, the part, the quote from uh, Jim Phillips of the ACC. We want... You got that up, Armstrong? We want and need the Big 12 to do well. The Big 12 matters in college athletics. The Big 12 matter in Power 5 athletics. In other words, but we can't do anything with them because they're trying to hold their thing together to save money because they need to get paid by Texas and Oklahoma, and we really can't talk to them right now. But, I mean, but if they mean something, why would they not have been a part of this where at least that conference – if in fact anything ever does happen, has something that they can have for traction. I mean, the first part of your statement to me would be the optimistic way of looking at it if you're a Big 12 fan of, well, if this could be looked at in any way as to entering into a new conference agreement, then that would allow Texas and Oklahoma to leave, then then okay, then maybe, maybe that's what that is. But I, also, like, if the Big 12 matters, then why aren't they a part of this? I mean, why aren't you saying it? Because, again, I wonder, there's though, nothing is it on because paper. of they can't, that they're stuck? They can't really do anything because they want to make sure they don't give Oklahoma and Texas an out, and yet they can't really be proactive or because they have, they're have they stuck. But, but if nothing's on paper, then, yeah, well, I mean, why can't Well, this? the only way they're not stuck is if they don't involve the Big 12 and the Big 12 waits out Oklahoma and Texas for that money, and then when these TV contracts come up right about that same time, then, you know, then all hell's really breaking loose because, I mean, such a large part of this we know is having to do with the playoff mm -hmm. and, and, and the movement forward of the playoff. They're, you know, they basically all said at this point that they feel like the SEC and ESPN were in bed together and we're – you know, secretly bringing along Texas and Oklahoma, and then, hey, we have Texas and Oklahoma. You know what's a great idea? Let's have 12 playoff teams. That's basically what they are saying the SEC was, was orchestrating and that they are somehow intervening and putting a stop to it. Um, you know, I, I think the playoff thing is definitely derailed for the time being, but we know the TV networks normally have a, a great deal of say, and when they let the cat out of the bag like they did, I don't think you're going to see fans uh, – or even administrators want to wait six years or five years to, to redo this playoff thing. I think that's going to probably have to come sooner rather than later. But, yeah, this is their, their big response. I mean, I don't – I feel like you could have said nothing to the press and all gone on and, and made the same decisions without having to orchestrate a press conference and call it an alliance and do all of those things. Uh, but, yeah, you're right. I mean, is the Pac-12 – so the Pac-12 said by the end of the week they will have an announcement. By the end of this week, they will have an announcement on expansion, apparently. So, yeah. Do they go and pluck Oklahoma State and Texas Tech, like uh, somebody has said today, uh, and then the Big 12 starts to crater, and then the SEC gets what they want? That's not what this alliance wants. But does this alliance also still want to look at expansion? Like that's the, See, those are the questions that we don't have any really indication on. We will hear from former Baylor quarterback 